Hey everybody! Welcome back. And this week's painting, picture, colouring in, I don't know, what, what do you call a coloured pencil piece? I don't know, it's all a bit weird. Um, either way, this week's piece, as the title suggests, is that of a red rose. Um, completely unrelated to Valentine's Day. However, seeing loads of flowers in the stores probably had something to do with it. But I've been wanting to do a rose picture for a while, so just happened to be coincidence that it was around the same time. Either way, I decided to do this one in coloured pencil, just because I haven't done any coloured pencil work for the last few weeks. So decided this was as good a chance as any. So I got my Faber Castell Polychromos and my some of my Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils and got straight to work. The colours I've used in this piece are mainly, as you can pretty much gather, reds as well as black and magenta purple in the shadows, but I also used a lot of oranges and yellows. Seems a bit strange, I know. When I first started this out, I was just using various shades of red and then white for highlights, and it just, something wasn't quite right. The colours weren't rich enough. The highlights just seemed really flat, and overall it just wasn't as rich or as vibrant and luminous and glowing as I wanted it to be. So sitting there going, right, so what am I going to do? I don't know. Either way, on my weekly shop, I decided to have a look at said red roses to have a look and see what it was I was missing. Believe it or not, what I was missing was those oranges. The, the reds were very orange and the highlights were more peach than they were pink or white and oh my god it completely made such a difference just adding those oranges and yellows and peach tones into the into the reds really made the color pop made the petals look like they were glowing and made the colors look really rich and sumptuous instead of like really flat and bland and meh so as important as it was for me to have a good reference photo to go by this just proves that sometimes looking at the actual subject like in real life, like the actual flower in front of you, you notice things that you don't pick up in a photograph or things that the photograph itself hasn't picked up. Um, the photograph I was using didn't have any oranges in it. It was just pinks and whites and reds. That worked well in that photograph. However, translating that onto paper, it just didn't work. So actually seeing those flowers myself through my own eyes I saw something that the photograph just didn't translate. So those are the colours I used. I pretty much used every red I own, every orange I own, most of the yellows I own as well as black and magenta purple. This piece took a lot of layering especially in the shadows but just generally throughout the whole piece it just a lot of layers to get the depth of colour I was after. That was the, the difficult bit. I didn't want to go too dark but I kept having to go back over it to get it dark enough it was a bit of a nightmare but the end result was so worth it I couldn't get a scanned version of this to actually look right just couldn't edit it right it kept losing the oranges or making the reds too saturated so in the end I took a photograph on my um, iPhone and that come out as close to the picture as possible but still nothing like the original The process of this piece was the same as the process that I, I did for my mushroom coloured pencil piece that I did a few weeks ago. So I took a really sharp coloured pencil and then made small oval marks until I'd covered the area that I wanted to cover um, and then layered other colours on top of that. And once I'd laid down about five or six layers of the coloured pencil, I got a filbert brush and my Zestit, um, oil, paint, dilutant and something what's it called again oil paint dilutant and blush brush cleaner although uh, any odorless mineral spirit would work gamsol would work or uh, mona lisa odorless paint thinner and went over the color pencil blending it into the paper so that the white of the paper didn't show through at all i let it that dry and then once i let it dry i started the process again laying down another five or six layers of colored pencil and then again blending it out with my zest dip
this point. I don't really know what else I can say about this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the rest to music and then meet back with you at the end. For the piece of music I've picked for this, I've actually picked something that's quite topical, that suits it quite well. I've actually picked Walt of the Flowers by Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky? Tchaikovsky. That's it. Anyway, so without further ado, I'll set the rest of this to music and I'll see you right at the end.
and there's the finished piece. Really hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and also don't forget to subscribe below so you don't miss any of my future videos. The description box will have links to all of my social media as well as my website and a list of all the materials that I use during this piece. Until next time, I'll see you soon.